It's happening. Signs of the last day's prophecies are happening, just like the Bible said, with world events and conditions, connecting to the biblical prophecies, revealing we are nearing the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ at the end of this age. And now we have this. Where U.S. troops in Iraq are saying it was a miracle of God. This is their testimony. The testimony of troops, U.S. troops in Iraq that went through the Iranian ballistic missile attack. Their testimony is that they are saying it was a miracle of God that kept all 1,500 of them on that base safe and sound and kept them from being killed in Iran's ballistic missile attack when their base took nearly a dozen direct hits. Iran just recently launched more than a dozen ballistic missiles against the United States into U.S. military bases in Iraq after the U.S. had killed the Iranian general Qasem Soleimani in an airstrike in Baghdad. After he had the Iranian militias in Iraq, he controlled to attack U.S. bases and the U.S. embassy there. This strike of ballistic missiles by Iran marked a significant escalation of the Mideast conflict between Iran and the U.S. to where now Iran had attacked the U.S. directly in the Middle East. And the Al-Assad Air Base in western Iraq which housed the American troops, was hit by almost a dozen of these ballistic missiles, with U.S. troops there at the Iraqi air base bearing the brunt of Iran's first ever direct missile attack against U.S. forces. And Reuters and the Jerusalem Post report that U.S. troops there are saying they were shocked by the intensity of the missile attack, with troops saying that the missiles came in waves, with the missiles continuing to arrive for about two hours, and the troops are saying it's a miracle of God that no one was hurt. A master sergeant who was there said that the Iranians knew what they were aiming at by targeting exact locations as the missiles made direct hits on the air base, leaving deep craters, and also turned their living quarters into crumpled wreckage with the prefabricated buildings twisted into unrecognizable metal by the missile blast. U.S. commanders at the base also said that the missiles were intended to kill American personnel, with the missiles designed and organized to inflict as many casualties as possible. The U.S. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, four-star Army General Mark Milley, said the attack was meant to kill Americans. And he said based on what they saw and what they know, the missiles were intended to cause structural damage, destroy vehicles and aircraft, and to kill personnel. And the missiles hit all around the American troops. Some soldiers were even thrown through the window of their watchtower by the blast. And several dozen troops were later treated for concussion as a result of the missile strikes, they were so close. Heavy concrete blast walls were blown down, and several soldiers said one of their number had come very close to being blown up inside a shelter behind the blast walls. But still yet, not one, not one member of U.S. troops was killed. And the troops there at the base who went through the missile attack are saying it was a miracle that no one out of 1,500 troops of the United States who took this direct ballistic missile attack with nearly a dozen missiles hitting, not one was hurt. And they're saying that it's a miracle. Stacy Coleman, the lieutenant colonel, who is the U.S. Air Force officer who runs the airfield there at the base, where these 1,500 American troops are deployed, said this, Who thinks they're going to have ballistic missiles launched at them and suffer no casualties? It's miraculous that no one was hurt. Also another lieutenant colonel at the base, Tim Garland, 
said that when the missiles hit, it was the loudest, most powerful noise that he has ever heard. And that when the strikes subsided, he said how they all survived was a miracle of God. The days of miracles are not over. For these United States military officers are testifying that they had a miracle of God protecting the U.S. troops from harm while Iranian ballistic missiles were raining down on them. You know, it reminds me of the testimonies of the troops of Israel in their six-day war of 1967, where they described the miracles that happened which protected them from harm, where eyewitness accounts testified of miracles, like when Syrian troops were panic-stricken and became paralyzed, unable to fire on the Israelis, or when incoming shells fell upon the Israelis and their equipment but would not explode, and how Jordanian forces fled in fear from a vision with Israel retaking Jerusalem without even firing a shot. We are living in a prophetic time. We're living in a miraculous time. As the United States military officers are saying, they just had a miracle. A prophetic, miraculous time we are in as we are seeing signs of the biblical prophecies with these events pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the prophecies at the end of this age where there's wars and rumors of wars, just as the biblical prophecies say, where nation is rising against nation and where the Lord God has poured out his spirit and is doing wonders and miracles in this prophetic time of the last days. And this is all revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Jesus Christ for his church at the end of this age of grace by being born again spiritually into the kingdom of God as Jesus said we must in John chapter 3 of the water and of the spirit and his, his apostles who were authorized described how in Acts chapter 2, through the name and the spirit of Jesus Christ, so that we may now be covered by the grace of the Lord in the kingdom of God, and we may be counted, as Jesus said, worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass in the wrath of the tribulation of revelation prophecy that is coming upon this world of disobedience. Praise God. I'm thankful for the kingdom of God and the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is not appointed unto wrath, but as 1 Thessalonians, the first chapter and verse 10 says, is instead appointed to the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. United States troops are saying a miracle happened. You can find out more information about the signs of the last day's prophecies and be informed for the appearance of the Lord Jesus by this channel and also going to signsofthelastdays.org website with all of its prophecy news and information. And as always, thank you to all our partners in prophecy who are faithfully praying and giving offerings each month into this ministry, sowing into the kingdom of God as the Bible teaches us in 2 Corinthians the ninth chapter, so that together, we are sharing the signs of the last day's prophecies to the world so that more people know that the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ is nearing. We're not looking for the end, but for the beginning of our wonderful future and Jesus Christ that is forever.